Hi, this is Brian with Nelson Creek Outdoors, and we're approaching mid-October here, and uh, we've been seeing a lot uh, more buck activity in the woods from us and our friends and pro staff. Now, most people realize the peak of the rut here in, in Wisconsin usually falls around November 7th. Uh, but something, something a lot of hunters don't realize is that a month earlier, sometimes some older does will actually go into heat. Mother Nature, say, you know, giving them a little bit of an advantage. So I think that's what we're seeing here, with maybe with the weird weather we've been having these last couple of years, that has actually increased. Um, so we're seeing uh, more buck activity as well. Uh, a lot of scraping, uh, some chasing, we've seen fighting. Uh, so it's actually been a very exciting year so far. Now, as this rut continues on and we get closer uh, to even to the main rut, um, our estrus sense will become more and more effective. And I want to talk about our first one here, which is Lucky 7 Love Potion Number 7. A lot of people are familiar with this. It's kind of the product that put us on the map. It's a doe estrus blend. It's got uh, doe urine at the peak of estrus mixed with just a touch of subordinate buck urine. And what that does is it not only makes a buck believe that there's a, a breedable doe around, um, but there's also some competition from some subordinate bucks. So he puts a little sense of urgency into it that he... Uh, he better find her before the, the little buck does. Now we we bottle this only during the season. We start in mid-September bottling this with fresh urine that we get from a contracted deer farm, a CWD free deer farm. Um, so basically we get it, we bottle it immediately and then we ship it to you. We do this a couple times a week to make sure it's very very fresh. This is the freshest deer urine you can get and that's what makes it really as effective as it is. This formula also comes in, in a crystal gel uh, configuration. What those are is polymer crystals that are full of this uh, fresh scent, and they're used as a more of a time release formula. When you put the urine out in the crystals, and it will uh, be more like a time release, slowly releasing less and less um, scent over time. But you put them in a scrape for a deer, say, when they use this form. And that buck comes along and he'll smell his scrape and then he'll work it, you know, using his paws as you've all seen. And he'll cut into those gel crystals and, and move them around. He'll get hit with a blast of fresh doe urine, which makes the deer think, oh my god, I just missed her. She was just here. And every time they come back, scrape in there to get a little bit more released into their face, they keep thinking they just missed her. And that really drives them crazy. So they get not only do they get that fresh doe urine and with some more than a buck urine hitting them in the face, they, they, they think she's just been there. Um, really great product. If you're looking for a good doe nestrous urine product, this is number one. Uh, convenient little plastic bottles. Uh, we use the white ones to keep sun from degrading the urine. Uh, make sure you keep it refrigerated. That's the key to this stuff is keeping it fresh um, with any deer urine. I would never buy it from a big box store because it was probably bottled in who knows, July or something, it's already 90% of ammonia or whatever at this point, it's just probably not very good. I would stay away from it. Only get your deer urine from fresh sources, and, and well, again, you can't get any fresher than this. One of the other products that we wanted to look at, because states are now banning the use of fresh urine in some places, and or the handling issues, you know, refrigeration that with real urine can be a problem, depending on, you know, what trip you're making and how, when you're going out, uh, stuff like that. So we started looking last year at um, synthetic doe urine, and uh, so we bought some of the, you know, like anybody else would, we bought some of the competitors' products, the leading competitors. We tested them in the lab and in the field, and boy, were we disappointed. Now, there's a recipe online going around that says you can take a little urea, some ammonia, some water, mix it together, and poof, you got synthetic deer urine. Well, that's like me telling you... Um, we can make a gourmet devil's food cake, we'll just get some flour and we'll put it and mix it in some water. Sure there's some common ingredients in there, but the final result is nowhere near the same. And that's what we found with the, even the leading dough and heat synthetic scent. So what did we do? Uh, we made sure that uh, our version was going to be a near perfect replica. So ours is based off dough and heat urine that was taken to the lab and analyzed for its pro chemical properties and stuff. And we came out with a near-perfect replica of it. We call it Lucky 7 Synthesent Dough and Heat Plus. And the plus is because not only do we make a near-perfect replica of urine, we also added a biological ingredient at the end 
that makes this truly come alive, like it came from a living animal. And that's what the deer think, that this is real dough and heat urine at the peak of estrus. Now this one we didn't do anything with the synthetic buck in there, any, and that it is a pure dough and heat scent. And it really works well. We've developed this over the last two years, and this is the first year it's available. Um, last couple of years a lot of people have shot in some big bucks over this. I've seen a lot of great activity over this scent and we expect it to be nothing short of phenomenal out in the field uh, once it's in, in everybody's hands. Why the synthetic? Again, some states think CWD is going to spread and like, like I said before, ours comes from a CWD free farm, our real urine, but you, again, politicians. If this year has told us anything, politicians are all nuts. So, we, this is useful in all 50 states. It also won't rot. You can have some left over. You can use it again next year. It'll still be just as effective as it was this year. You don't have to refrigerate it. If you take it on a trip with you, you don't have to worry about it. If you leave it in a hot car uh, while you're out hunting, hot truck, not going to rot. Very easy to handle. You don't have to worry about it at all. And it'll always be just as effective as any other any other product. You know, it's 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 really great. Now, if, as I said, we were disappointed in other products, and I encourage this. Take one of the leading brands that you see advertised all over there. Go buy some, and buy a bottle of ours. We don't want you to take our word for it, but go ahead and test this uh, for yourself. I would say take ours, open the bottle, and smell it. Just do the sniffer test on it. Not the greatest thing in the world, but if you smell ours, you'll notice it smells like real dough urine. Just make sure you smell hives first. Then, take a bottle of the leading brand. Let's, I'm not going to say anybody in, in particular, but let's just call it Brand Blue. Take a bottle of Brand Blue and open it and smell it. We did. Um, to me, it smelled like ammonia, heavy ammonia, and bubble soap. Now, if I can tell the difference and you can tell the difference, the deer can tell the difference. Why bother buying any of that stuff if it's not? I mean, maybe it won't spook them. Um, you know, there's a lot of ammonia from decaying urine in the woods, I suppose, from deer ready. But why, why pay for it? It's yellow ammonia water. I don't know what else. <laughs> Some of the stuff that's in there. Most of it had a little urea in it, and that was it. So don't waste your time. Now, the reason I tell you when you do that test, smell ours first, is because if you make the mistake of smelling theirs first, the ammonia in it alone is going to... Uh, burn out your senses for a while and then you probably won't be able to smell eyes very well. I, I made that mistake. No way any product that imitates synthetic urine should have that much ammonia in it unless they're simulating spoiled urine. So that's it on the scents this year. I hope you take a gander over at our website. Uh, go to www.nelsoncreekoutdoors.com and take a look at our new scents. Like I said, give them a try. Um, you'll see that a lot of our customers in the past have shot some really big bucks over it. Uh, if you think uh, fresh scent is as important as we do, you'll definitely enjoy our products. And you'll also appreciate that our synthetic urine really mimics the real thing. Again, Brian at Nelson Creek Outdoors, you have a great time out in the woods this year. Thanks.